Welcome to Imaging Many Hands. In this lesson I'm learning to image numbers up to 20 to solve addition and subtraction problems. Let's imagine a golfer has got six golf balls and he goes to the shop and he buys five more golf balls. We want to work out how many golf balls does he have in total. Now the aim of this lesson is to imagine these amounts on your fingers to help you answer this question. So to start with, let's start with the 6 here. So think about your hands and think, how could I show 6 using my fingers? Well hopefully you're imagining something like this. 5 fingers from one hand and 1 finger from the other hand and that makes 6. Now let's imagine that you can also use a buddy's hand to help you answer this question. So you're going to get your buddy to show five with his fingers. So think about what that would look like. So you're showing six fingers and your buddy's showing five fingers. Now think about what that will look like when we combine it together. So hopefully you're imagining something a little bit like this. You've got your six and your buddy has got five fingers to show the five. And you can see that we can put some of these amounts together. Five plus the five, that's ten. And you can see we've got this one left over here. So six plus five equals eleven. Let's imagine a netball player has shot thirteen goals. And then in the last quarter she shoots another five more. We want to work out how many goals did you get in total. Well to start with we need to imagine this 13. And you know that this 13 is more than you can show just on your hands so you're going to need to imagine a buddy's hand as well. So think about what 13 would look like. Hopefully you're imagining something like this. Your 10 fingers and 3 fingers from your buddy. Now we need to imagine these five. So again we're going to use our buddy's hands, so think about what that would look like. So hopefully you're imagining that. Five more fingers held up. Now imagine combining those two amounts together. If we've got some groups of five it might help to start by adding those together. Well, hopefully you're thinking about something like this. I can see 5 here, another 5 makes 10, this 5 makes 15, and then 3 more which makes 18. So 13 plus 5 equals 18. Now let's try a couple of subtraction questions. Let's imagine that a dairy has 18 bottles of milk and it sells 8 of them we want to work out how many bottles are left. So to start with we need to imagine 18 using our fingers. And just like last time you can see that we're going to have to imagine a buddy's hands as well. So think to yourself what would 18 look like? Well hopefully you're thinking about something like this. Your 10 fingers and 8 fingers on your buddy's hand. And you can see that's made up of 5 and 3. Now the question says we need to take away 8. So think of a way that you can quickly fold down or remove 8 fingers. Imagine that in your head. Well hopefully you're thinking about folding down these ones. So you can put a big cross through those because you're folding down those fingers and a big cross through here. And you can see that all we're left with is 10 fingers. So 18 minus 8 equals 10. Let's try one last question. Let's imagine an artist has made 13 paintings and so far they've sold 5 of them. We want to work out how many paintings does that artist have left. So to start with let's imagine 13 using our fingers. So you can see that it's going to need more than just your fingers, it's going to need the fingers of your buddy as well. So in your head imagine what that looks like. Hopefully you're imagining something like this. 
your 10 fingers and 3 fingers from your buddy. Now the question says we sold 5 or the artist sold 5 so we need to think of a way that we can quickly fold down 5 fingers. Try and imagine doing that in your head. Hopefully you're imagining removing five fingers and probably the easiest way to do that is removing one of these fives. So let's put a big cross through that. So you can see that we're left with eight. So 13 minus five equals eight. Well I hope you found this lesson helpful. For more help check out teachertools.co.nz